boys and girls, and welcome back to the Art Lab. Uh, it's been about a week since I posted a video, so we'll jump right on in. Today's lesson is called Two Point Perspective. Now, if you remember from class, we already talked about Two Point Perspective, and we started a project on it, but we never finished it. So today, we're going to take it all the way, and just like we did with One Point Perspective, we're gonna draw a beautiful little scene using two-point perspective. The biggest difference is that instead of a road, we're gonna draw a house in the middle. So, what is two-point perspective? We're gonna find out, and the first step is to fold our paper in half hot dog style, just like this. And what we're doing when we fold our paper hot dog style is we're making a horizon line. A horizon line is where the sky meets the land. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to outline it just like that. And I'm going to use a ruler just so it stays extra straight. I'm going to line up my ruler right on that line and hold it down with two fingers. And I'll draw lightly with my pencil all the way across. Don't push down too hard because we need to be able to erase this line later. Now we have a horizon line. The next line that we're going to need is an up and down line or a vertical line. So to do that, we're going to fold our paper hamburger style, just like this. When we open it back up, we now have a nice tall line. So, like I said before, our lesson today is called Two Point Perspective. And where are we going to put our two points? They are going to go on our horizon line. So I want you to come in, if we're looking at just this half of the paper right here, I want you to come about halfway towards the middle, right there, and put a point. And do the same thing on the other side. So here's your half of the paper, and right about in the middle. I'm going to draw another point right there. Now we need to do the same thing on our vertical line. So I'm going to put a point about halfway up here. It doesn't have to be exact. And down here, about the same thing. So our next step is going to be to connect all four of these dots. And you'll end up with kind of a kite shape or a diamond shape. So once again, I'm going to hold down the ruler with my two fingers and draw some connecting lines. It's important to use your ruler on every single one of these lines because they have to be very straight. Okay. Now you guys can probably sort of see the building. See how there's a diamond shape that sort of goes around the building? I'm gonna explain how we get from here to here. But first, let's add some things to our sky and to our land. So right here, I'm gonna write sky and land. You don't have to do that, but just for me to remember, I'm gonna write it there. And first thing I'm gonna do is add a sun right here and some rays of sunshine coming off of them. Some of the exact same stuff we did for our other one-point perspective scene. I'm going to put some clouds in here. I'll put kind of a little pond over here like we did in the last one. And it's up to you what kind of things you want to add. I'm putting a pond here, but you could add a patch of flowers, you could do a car, you could do butterflies, you could draw some people. It's really up to you. I'm going to add one more thing. I'll do a little bench right here. And a bench is easy. It just looks like a rectangle. And you can add another line to it. And draw some lines underneath. You need four of them because a bench has four legs. So there's our bench, there's our lake. I'll draw a flower over on this side. 
just try to draw at least one thing in each of these squares. And I'll draw some grass so that my flower is growing out of something. Now, in this square, I've got the sun. In this square, I've got a cloud. In this square, I've got the lake. And right here, I've got my flower. So our next step is going to be turning this diamond into a building or a house, just like this. And how we're going to do that is we are actually going to trace this vertical line. We're going to put our ruler down. Oops. We're going to put our ruler down going from this line to this line. We're going to connect them just like this with our pencil. So now you have this line here, which is going to be like the front edge of our building. This is the closest part of the building to us, the viewer. As you can see right here, this edge of the building is a lot closer to us than this edge of the building all the way back there. So we have our front edge. Now we need to put some edges on the other side of the building because it wouldn't just go on forever and ever and ever to that. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to kind of chop off the ends. So I'm gonna loosely kind of draw some lines. I'm sketching a little bit here. They don't have to be perfect. But when you have a feeling for where you want your building to end, because wherever you draw this line is gonna be the end of your building, take your ruler and put it down over it and just make a nice straight line. I did that on this side, now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So, to get from here to here, all we really need to do now is erase some lines. So I've got a nice big eraser on my pencil, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all this stuff outside of the building. It's okay if you erase some of your horizon line, because you can always redraw it back in, just like this. You want to keep your horizon line, but get rid of the rest of that triangle that's poking outside of your building. Now, if you don't quite understand what I just did, you can pause it and rewind and slowly watch. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You guys can watch it as many times as you need to to understand. So I've erased everything outside of the building and now I'm just gonna redraw my horizon line just like that. Now, we have a horizon line going through the building but I don't think that we can see through the building, so we wouldn't be able to see the sky and the land behind the building. So what we need to do is erase our horizon line so we can just pretend like it's not there anymore. Beautiful. Now that's really starting to look like a building. It looks kind of like a cube. Our next step is going to be to add some doors and windows to our building. So I'll put a door on this side right here. And what you need to do is draw two lines straight up to the top. Well, not up to the top, halfway. Where your horizon line was. It needs to end right there. Because the door wouldn't go from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. This is like a two-story building, so it'll just sit down here. On the other side, we're going to do kind of the same thing. Draw some lines to make a window. Now, if you look closely, the bottom line of my window lines up with the horizon too, but the top side of my window slants upward just like this, kind of the same way that the door slants downward over here. It should follow the edge of the building a little bit. So there we have our door and our window, and I am going to add a chimney just for fun. So there's a little chimney and some smoke coming out. Must be a fireplace in there somewhere. 
Uh, we'll put a couple of birds in the sky too. It looks like a beautiful day out. All right, now I think we're ready to outline. If you have a black marker or a black colored pencil, you can go ahead and grab it. And you're gonna need your ruler again. So the first thing we're gonna do is our horizon. I'm gonna outline the horizon, but I'm gonna stop at the building. You don't want it to go through the building, especially not with this black marker. So there's our horizon line. Now I'm gonna outline all of the lines on my building. So I'll start with this front edge right here between our two dots from top to bottom. And I don't know that I need a ruler for these lines, so I'll just draw them just like this. Now I wanna get my top and my bottom edges. Like I said before, if you want this part to look nice, you really do have to use your ruler. All right, my building is all done. Now it's time to do my door. and our window. Last but not least, we'll do our chimney. And our building is all done, nice and outlined. Now let's go one part at a time around all of these corners. I'll start with the sun and the birds over here. Draw an outline around my circle and all my rays of sunshine. And my birds. I draw them just like that, nice and easy. Now my cloud over here. Let's think of some more things that we could put in the sky. What else floats around in the sky? Sometimes there are airplanes. Sometimes there are helicopters. Ooh, how about a hot air balloon? So I'll put a little balloon shape over here. And I've got two lines coming down just like this. And there's a little basket that carries people. Kind of usually have some decorations on it too, just like that. All right, so we've got our sky with our sun, our birds, our clouds, and our hot air balloon. We have our lake down here with our bench, or our pond, I should say. It's not quite big enough to be a lake. So I'll outline our pond, and I just kind of make it blob-shaped, because it's easy. You don't have to worry too much about the shape of your lake. They come in all kinds of different shapes. There's our bench, and I'll draw the legs of our bench. Beautiful. And last but not least, over here we have a flower. You could draw a kitty cat or a dog or people playing on a playground. You can make this as crazy as you want. All right, now I think we're ready to do some coloring. It's looking very close to the picture we started with. I'll start with the sky. I've got like a blue green color, but you could use any blue, it doesn't matter.
I'm just going to color in all these details. I might speed it up here so you don't have to just watch me color every last little bit. All right. Now that our sky and our grass are all colored in, we can add some more details. Those things are the biggest ones. They take the longest to color, too. I'm going to grab a yellow and color in the middle of my sun. Maybe a better yellow. Ooh, this one's called Laser Lemon. I'll put yellow in the middle of my flower, too. It's like a neon yellow. That one's really cool. Now I'll grab a pink, and I'll do the petals of my flower. They could be any color. Next up, we need to do our lake. And I think your lake looks better if you do it a darker color than the sky. So I'm going to pick a darker blue for my lake. Now I'm going to add my brown for my bench. It's a wooden bench, so I'm coloring it brown. And let's not forget about our hot air balloon in the sky. Let's make him orange. Well, let's see. We'll do the top of the balloon orange. And we'll do the bottom half purple. And this hot air balloon has a basket too, so... I'm going to color that brown. All right. Now I think I'm ready to color in my house. The first thing I'll do is my window. And I'm going to do my window the same color as the sky. Because I want to pretend that there's a window on the other side too. It's letting all the sky and all the light from the sky shine through it. So we'll just color that light blue. Next, let's color the walls of our house. I like purple and orange, so I'm going to do those two colors. Your house can be whatever color you want. You could color it your favorite color. You could color it the same color as your house. Or you could try and color it like Wayman Academy and make it look like bricks. That's an extra challenging one. I'm going to make my front wall orange here. And finally for our front door, I think I want it to be red. Having your front door painted red means that you're welcoming visitors. And our chimney, I think I'll do him red too. So 
So there we go. We have a beautiful, colorful picture. We drew it using two-point perspective. I know you can't see them anymore because we erased them, but our two points are still there. They're right here. And they're right here. One last thing I'll do is add some shading to my clouds, just for fun. I just add a little bit to the bottom. Now, before you finish your piece, make sure you put your name on it. Mr. D's gonna sign his name down at the bottom right corner. We are all done. Let's look at the one we started with and the one we drew together. I think that's a wrap for today, boys and girls. I hope you had fun and learned a little something new. You guys stay tuned and I'll join you next time. I think we'll do some character drawing, maybe cartoon characters. Thanks, boys and girls. Stay nice and safe during our, our time at home and I will see you guys during next class. Bye-bye.